Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2, Episode 15, Thoughts. This episode is called One Door Closes. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including the episode. No spoilers in this video for anything MCU that happened after this episode first premiered. Uh, the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG after strikers and employ you to do so. And then there are some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, without further ado, let's dive into the episode. So yeah, we see what happened during the the events of Captain America 2. And yeah, I, I quite appreciate you know, the entire episode keeps cutting back to this flashback. And, yeah, uh, you can really understand how this, you know, this different shield came out of the, yeah, after, after the Hydra reveal. And you can really understand why Mac, you know, is... Why, why Mac and Bobby have the bond they have, trust each other so much, considering the her excellent entrance. And great to see Izzy uh, again. You know, I was hoping that Lucy Lawless was going to get more appearances on the show. And let's see. And I, I like this thing of, you know, her thing is knives. You know, because, I mean, we already know that certain agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. S surely do choose... Okay, I'll stop calling you surely. D d they d make interesting choices when it comes to, to weapons. You know, Romanoff's always got the, the little zappy things. Barton uses arrows. You know, I, I, I'm a fan of those characters, but it is... Yeah. I'm just saying, it's appropriate that there's also a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent who just uses knives. And... Yeah, Mac and Coulson talk. You know, Coulson knew that Mac would lower his guard if he finally let him near Lola. And... Yeah, really excellent... You know, this thing of, ah, yeah, you know, I never could get it to fly. Mm, that's true, but that wasn't what I was talking about. Then I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. And, yeah, you know, he's like, you've always been brutally honest with me, so I'm giving you a chance. Be brutally, you know, do do your thing. This is, you're the, you're the honest guy. Be honest. And, yeah, you know, the, when he does not, to, you know, confess. It it leads to Coulson having all the other mechanics pull their guns on him. Something that the promos for this episode were kind enough to give away. To be fair, it is a very compelling. You know. Yeah. Um. So let's see. The thing that yeah, and it's very clever because yeah. He, you know, Mac had no reason to think that the all these fellow mechanics would be, you know, waiting to ambush him like that. You know, it would be a different thing if he was just surrounded by, you know, yeah. If if it were more clearly, but but they're all they all appear to be working on the the various vehicles. And yeah, Bobby put you know puts the the thing in, inside the computer, and there continues to be conflict between Fitz and Simmons. And yeah, I I really appreciate that it is like you know they they used to you know sure they'd like bicker but. In this season, we're really seeing them actually split apart. And let's see. yeah, and and Bobby, you know, cuts to find the 
um, the uh, toolbox, Fury's toolbox, and May shows up, and great line with, you know, I, you know, I, I was certain this wasn't the, the case, I hate being wrong, and let's see, yeah, and she says, the last person who betrayed me, I broke his larynx, yeah, so, let's see, the, Yeah, and we see, you know, Sky has been putting off, putting on the gloves, and yeah, I, I appreciate the, the weight they've been given. A lesser show would have her just, you know, hand it to her, and she just immediately puts them on, and that's it. But no, they keep building towards it. You know, she puts it on, and she's like, wow, am I supposed to be this woozy? I just put them on. You know, is this a normal side effect? And she's, of course, wondering why is, you know, what's the word? Why is the, why can't she contact um, Gemma? And she finds the hidden compartment. Very cool. And... <laughs> Apparently Fitz made her watch Paranormal Activity and now she's creeped out when she hears a weird noise and she's alone in, in a, you know, it's not quite a house, but yeah. Let's see. That first movie really is great. And, you know, movie three as well. Movie five is interesting and I think movie six is underrated. And yeah, Gordon shows up and explains to to Sky about all the good, good, good vibrations of you know the universe and her ability to affect them. And I really appreciate like the last couple of times we saw him pop in. First of all he just like teleported near the person so he wasn't he didn't really look like he was super worried about their reaction to that here he he teleports we know he teleports but she doesn't know that until he goes away at the end of the scene you know he he knocks on the door asks for permission to come in which is there a chance he's a vampire anyway and yeah he's he's like you know relating to her and saying, you know, I went through the change and, you know, he's he's making a joke about, you know, I wish you wouldn't stare, admits he's not good at making jokes and the, the yeah, you know, he, he really is, with her, he's very much trying to, to help, which I don't think he was super worried about if what he did to Zabo was helping or not. That was very much a, you know, you crap the bed, I'm here to clean up situation, and, you know, with, with Reyna, there was also, you know, he was also not handling her with kid gloves, so yeah, I really appreciate seeing him like this. And, you know, not long after, I guess the next time we see Sky, she is, you know, controlling the vibrations of the water. <coughs> And I love Gemma getting Bobby. She really is getting better and better at convincingly lying. You know, she sees Bobby and she, like, immediately is aware, I can't take her down in combat. If I go for an icer, she will be faster than me. So she pretends that she has no idea what's going on. And, like... She's like, oh, don't, oh, I, I know, I have the thing right here, you know. Oh, ah, could, you, could you hold this? And, you know, pops it in Bobby's hand. And Bobby's not going to throw it away, even though she doesn't quite know what it is, because she's trying to work Gemma, you know. And then then Gemma gets the other one, and she's like, ah, here it is, and puts it in, you know, Bobby's hand. And it has it's the, the electrical thing that knocks you out 
you know, like Romanov often uses, very, very clever, and, you know, and, and they make it clear that it's not like Gemma didn't know that was going to, you know, right after, as soon as Bobby goes down, she gets, you know, Gemma gets out the gun and calls Colson and says, I have Bobby, you know, so that, yeah, she had a plan and carried it out, and Bobby's not thinking, ah, oh, she's just, you know, she's, she's trying to trick me here, because Gemma usually is very straightforward, you know, if, if she has an idea that others might not like, she's gonna argue for it, she's not gonna try to trick you into it. Let's see, and... Uh, yeah, and, and Mac tries to talk Fitz down, and does warn him about the, you know, the blast. And actually, he, you know, the the yeah, and yeah, tries to tries to protect him from the blast. And we go back to the the aircraft carrier flashback, and yikes, that looked like it hurt when they set Gonzalez's leg back. And yeah, you know, the story, you know, the worst pain is the one you don't feel. You know, yeah, this is going to hurt. But, you know, it could be worse, that kind of thing. Very, very clever. And, yeah, and, you know, Gonzalez changes the orders, and they, yeah, they, they take the ship, and, yeah, you can absolutely understand why this led to a different, you know, this, this other faction of S.H.I.E.L.D. And, and we see that May hid, very clever, you know, we saw her, she found the gas mask that Bobby was going to use, and, yeah, you know, she put that on, and found a, a good hiding place somewhere that they wouldn't think to look right away, and they don't know the place as well as our team does. So, yeah, very clever. And she manages to, to get Colson safe. <clears throat> and, right, I appreciate the, the wonder on Skye's face when she, you know, manipulates the, the water contrasted with like by the end of the episode when she uses her powers to defend herself and she's actually kind of scared by you know she clearly didn't mean to hurt Bobby and um, I think his name is Calderon you know it was self-defense but it was also excessive and you know she is still struggling to control her powers and let's see. Yeah, and you know, um, Agent Weaver, you know, trusts Gemma to to take a look at at Mac, which you know, I'm I'm wondering if Simmons is going to live up to that trust or not in in the next episode, but. That's a pretty significant, you know, that's not like, we, we won and you are going to pay. That's very much like, I know you're a good person, you were misled, we can work together. So, really appreciate that. And, let's see. Yeah, and May calling Sky and warning her they're coming and, you know... Just, yeah, very, very cool, very intense, and, yeah, we see Bobby suggest democracy to Gonzalez in the, in the flashback, uh, you know, democracy, bringing democracy to S.H.I.E.L.D., which, I mean, yeah, I, I do think it is about time America has democracy. I really don't know where they're going. I'm scared that I do know where they're going with 
Colson saying, you know, is this really a democracy? Uh, you know, the, you say there are five leaders of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I only see one in here kind of thing. I, I hope they're not going to, like, because that, that was a thing in, in media back then and still some today. Host hostility towards the idea that America needs more democracy than the paltry amount it has. So I'm, I'm hoping that's not where they're going, but I am not super optimistic. And... Let's see... Yeah, and May gets Coulson to safety and surrenders when she's over... Uh, what's the word? Outnumbered. And yeah, like Coulson said, she makes a great entrance. And yeah, Sky uses her powers, and Gordon, you know, yeah, whispers Gordon's name. He comes and, and gets her out of there because, yeah, there's no way that's ending well for her. They're not gonna, they're not gonna treat her with kid gloves. And yeah, we close on Hunter and Coulson together. <laughs> And the bartender thinks Coulson is, you know, recently divorced. Which I guess, I mean, you know, he says, let me guess, she got the house. I mean, in a way, he lost his house, yeah. And you have the... Um, although it is wild to me that we're still, you know, this episode came out in 2015. We're still doing jokes about men losing out in divorce like I'm not gonna claim that divorce is always fair but like when divorce was introduced it was one of the first times that women got much of a choice in long-term relationships so yeah uh, I agree that there are like there are improvements to be made, but divorce, the practice itself, is absolutely necessary. And honestly, it wouldn't be if, if women had been treated better and were being treated better. Now, the, let's see, um, yeah, and, you know, Lance says, you know, you wanted, you asked for me to be permanent you know, and, and yeah, the, the, you know, consider that my signing the contract. What are the orders, boss? I was a little surprised that it didn't end with Coulson saying we're taking back S.H.I.E.L.D. or something. But, yeah, I guess we are. Is, is he actually going to wait an entire week to answer Lance's question? Because that's, that's going to get awkward. Anyway, I'm to be trivia for the episode. Let's see. The safe house guy is held in was built by Bruce Banner. A hole can be seen punched in a wall. Yeah. And let's see. However, it is not the same cabin Banner was seen in at the very end of The Incredible Hulk. As at that time, he was still on the run, not in a position to design protective walls with help from S.H.I.E.L.D. Right. I, um, I appreciate the detail that Fury's toolbox is vibranium. That is really the only way you can explain, even in the MCU, something of that much, like, with with that much uh, complex complexity to it being that small. And, let's see... <laughs> One of the lockers in the locker room has the name Mimikakis written on it. Lainey Mimikakis worked in the art department on the series. I quite like when they sneak in Little things like that. Right. Lucy Lawless and Edward James almost previously appeared together in Battlestar Galactica. And... Let's see. Right. And yeah, in a flashback to the day S.H.I.E.L.D. fell, Hartman mentions Vic is going to, the, to hold the hub. Viewers of the first season know Victoria Hand secured the hub with the capture of John Garrett and elimination of the Hydra agents. And despite Bobby telling the agents to only use icers when they land at the safe house, none of the weapons shown to 
shown have the distinctive barrel that are used to identify the non-lethal ammunition that they contain. In addition, regular gun sound effects are heard when the weapons are fired instead of the distinctive icer sound effect. This indicates that Bobby was the only one who believed that capture was the intent of the mission. Very nicely done. And... <clears throat> Let's see... Right, so in the, yeah, the IMDb memorable quotes section for this episode, you know, a, a good chunk of the conversation between Gordon and Skye was submitted. I like his, you know, it's, it's a really good exchange. And yeah, I like him asking, do they protect people from you? And... Nice office, lots of light. You haven't even delved into the record collection. And I think that might be. Right, uh, yeah, um, the, the, you know, in this episode, we're told that Weaver believes that. Um, Coulson is now basically, you know, being controlled by the, the alien blood. And that's something that Mac has said in a previous episode to Coulson at, at one point, in, even. So that's maybe where that came from. Like, Weaver was talking to Bobby and Mac, saying, you know, you could be really effective... Um, undercover agents and you know here's the thing I'm worried that Coulson has the you know is, is being controlled by and yeah you know Mac being a very forthright person came right out and said it which also makes the fact that he was ultimately you know the, the ah, what's the word he was undercover. Very, yeah, like great twist. I, I really didn't see it coming. Although I'm kind of hoping that they don't just like every halfway through the season of this show, because there are two for two so far, have like the reveal that some of the people that we thought were, you know, faithful members of the, the team we've come to know and love are actually working for someone else, though I will say I do like the idea of... And it's it's very realistic, this thing of, you know, once cracks start to appear in the Foundation, yeah, you're gonna have different people with different agendas coming in... Ah, agenda is such a loaded word. Um, different people are gonna have different ideas of how to proceed. You know, you see this in various revolutions as well. You know, they might at some at certain points be able to work together as a unit and really effectively carry out the the what's the word? The um the goals that they agree on. But if someone legitimately feels like the leader is not doing the you know, the best for the cause or something, yeah, uh, some others might try, you know, it is essentially this this coup, you know, so, yeah, really, really solid episode, and I'm very excited to see what happens in the next episode, so, yeah. Um, I might be able to do an episode tomorrow. We will see. If not, next video on this show will be Tuesday. And I'm going to leave you with the excellent line by Mac, which someone submitted completely without the rest of the conversation and, and context. And it is a profound line. It is. It works really well for not just the exact situation where it's used, 
but as a sort of in general, you know, refers to the the perhaps the betrayal and the the they're probably also talking about, you know, that's how this other shield feel about our team of agents under Director Coulson. The most dangerous kind of pain is the kind you can't feel.